Hey, it's Austin Krim here with Krim Codes, my channel where I talk and teach about web development. Today we're going to take a look at WASM and how to write and run the most basic WASM module compiled from Rust. Let's jump right in. The step one is to make sure you have Rust installed. If you don't, the best place to figure that out is rustlang.org. Click on install up here in the nav and it will take care of uh, uh, those steps for you uh, with whatever OS you're on. Today I'm using Mac. I already have Rust installed. As you can see, if I run the cargo-v command in my terminal, I get a version number back. Once you have that, the next thing we're gonna need is a WASM pack. So if you search WASM pack, uh, you should find um, this GitHub uh, pages documentation site, and that will also take you through the installation process, which you can either use um, curl or you can use uh, the cargo command line tool as well to get that done. Once those two things are good to go, we can get started. Now, the first thing we'll want to do is hop over to our command line and initialize a new Rust project using Cargo. I'll run Cargo new dash dash library or uh, lib, and I'll give my project a name of hello wasm, and then I'll open that up in code. Cargo's just scaffolded out a few things for us here, uh, cargo.toml file, which is um, analogous to a package.json and, and a node project and a uh, basic test uh, that we can just get rid of. The next thing we we'll want to do is set up our cargo.toml file uh, with the correct dependencies and options for compiling using WASM pack. So first we'll need a library called WASM um, bind gen, which is gonna help translate between the uh, WebAssembly types and um, the native JavaScript types and the Rust types. It'll take care of all that stuff for us uh, under the hood. The other thing we're gonna need is to specify a um, lib key, which will ensure the correct flags get passed to the Rust compiler. Uh, when we use WASM pack, um, we're gonna pass CD lib uh, or C dynamic library. Um, and that's all we have to do in this file. We can go ahead and close that. Now in our main uh, lib.rs, we're gonna start out uh, with a use statement here. We're gonna pull in um, the, the wasm bind gen um, prelude, which is gonna get wasm bind gen set up for us. We're gonna just pull in everything there. Um, and next, we can start with our uh, hello world function. So wasm bind gen uses um, a procedural macro um, to get our function set up. If you don't know what that means, that's totally fine. Um, and then we'll have a public function and we'll call it add for now. So what add's gonna do is gonna take uh, two numbers. We'll just call them uh, I32s. And again, if you don't know Rust, this is totally fine. You'll still be able to uh, compile and use this. Um, and again, rustlang.org is a great place uh, to learn more. And all this add function is gonna do is take two numbers and return the sum of those two numbers. Um, this is all we actually have to do for our WASM project. It's done. Now, at this point, WASM pack is going to take over. So we can, let's see, do it into our uh, project here and we'll run WASM pack uh, build and we'll give it a target flag of web as we're going to run this in uh, a web browser as opposed to a uh, node or some other library. Now, the first time you run that, it might take a little while as it has to install. Cargo will go ahead and install uh, the dependencies before running the build. Um, but once that's done, if we look over in our uh, code project here, we should see a new package folder, which has a couple things in it. Um, it has that WASM module that we talked about. It actually generates um, these uh, type declaration files as well, um, so that our WASM function will actually be correctly typed. Um, and then it also has outputs a thin JavaScript wrapper uh, around our WASM module to um, ease uh, the import, the importing and the usage of that file. Now that we have that, it's simply a matter of loading up uh, the WASM module and calling it from JavaScript. So I think the easiest way to do this is just to open up a plain HTML file. I'll scaffold out some boilerplate, boilerplate HTML. Let's open up a script, type equals module, so we can use the import uh, syntax. And we're gonna import a couple things here from um, dot slash package um, slash hellowasm.js. 
we're actually going to import our add function and we're going to import import the default export as well um, which i'll call init so the first thing you have to do before you call any of your wasm functions is to call uh, this init function which is going to set up the glue code and bootstrap our wasm module once that's done we can simply call our add function if you remember it takes a couple of numbers um, and we'll return the result and we can just spit that out in a console log now that we have that set up let's go ahead and serve our html page with a local http server and load it in the browser the easiest way i know how to do that is to run this python 3 command uh, the HTTP server command in the current directory. Now, this will only work if you have Python 3 installed. Uh, so if you don't, you can go ahead and look up how to do that. Otherwise, you can use any uh, other HTTP server setup that you like. Uh, the only requirement is you can't load this HTML uh, file from the file system uh, because you need to have a server that can handle uh, the WASM MIME type uh, and some other details. So you have to actually serve it uh, with a local server. Once you get that going, it's loaded up in the browser and we see our answer right here, uh, the number three. And with that, congratulations. You've written and ran your first WASM module in the browser uh, using Rust and WASM Pack. Go forth and be on the cutting edge.